Hey guys, what's going on? Anakin Nip here. Um, this gold bar is one chunk long, uh, one chunk long, one chunk long, uh, emerald and diamond. So what we got here is one, two, three, four, five, six chunk range. And I'm just gonna look at some boosters here. I'm gonna look into some more complex stuff because I've just come back to Minecraft from a long time away. So here we have a normal three dispenser booster, which is able to push six long TNT into the slab. And we've used 16 boosters, uh, 16 propulsion TNT with two projectile. Now this will shoot, um, I think it's four chunks. Yeah, so it's one, two, three, and it lands in the middle of the fourth chunk. Now this next cannon set up here, this uses a 10 long uh, propulsion. And again, we've used 16 dispensers and this booster it's a little bit more expensive than this booster to use, but there is benefits to it. Um, night and range, you'll still get the exact same four chunk shot range. Should land here, as expected. Um, and the next one we're gonna use is this. This is 16 long propulsion. And again, the booster uses slightly more TNT than the previous one, but it still shoots the exact same range. So it shoots to there. Now the reason I wanted to show you that is because if you're going to start building uh, bigger cannons, you're going to need a lot of power. Look at something like this. This is 16 long and I think it's 13 high. And this enables you to shoot um, about 100 chunks, probably even more. Um, it allows you to put a big slab buster on it. And then likewise, you can reverse this system for your hammer. So you could have like a really large hammer. Um, this isn't close to what I'm planning on doing yet, but I just wanted to show you guys this. Um, just bring up. Now, it's probably easier to show you what's going on if we just remove the TNT rendering and just use the breadcrumb so that boost the TNTs here, gets into the slab, and then it's away. Um, and even though it looks like this has gone up over time, it really hasn't it's immediately gone to this height and left at this height because that's how TNT works with the 10 long it's much the same although the time is slightly different so this time this pushes this which goes to here now this all should be in one block here so that means I have a timing issue um, and this didn't go just because we were so far back and the rendering on the server doesn't work. So I'll make sure I'm in the middle for this one. So when we shoot this one, as you can see, this booster has blown. So this TNT blows this TNT to here, where then this, which is here, this is then blown to here and all of this actually lands in this block it almost looks like it's glitching the slab but it isn't it is against the block and again the shots gone up and out and landed here so that that's what's happening with the boosters so um, I'm gonna start doing a, a tutorial on how to like like get the most for your TNT and make a compact cannon and I think by making it longer like this you get a more compact cannon than using this because each one of these has 16 dispensers and this is one high this is two high and I mean this is three high so if you want that kind of power you need that kind of length all right so thanks for watching I hope that's um, get uh, insightful for some a lot of people it'll be what you already know uh, uh, like I say I'm back um, and things have changed so I'm just kind of getting back into everything. Um, but yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do another one soon on hammers and how to put it all together. So thanks. Bye.